Hello, friends. It's Nanny and the Moose. Hi. Here for a video. The one that all you ladies have been waiting for is Moosey's sharing of all his paintings and how he does it. And, and also uh, our family get together. And for those of you who don't know us well, your new subscribers, maybe this will help you to get to know us a little better, right? Right. And Moosey does cameos every once in a while. And Nanny does her Walmart hauls and her her thrift hauls and makeup. That's not his thing. But we do talk about aging. We had a great big family party Saturday night in honor of our yeah. granddaughter's graduation. And we had 43 out of 54 family members there. Kids, grandkids, and great-grandkids there, spouses. It was the most emotional, wonderful time. We have not been together like that in way over a year. And so we have pictures that we're going to show you that too. I, I hope you all enjoy the pictures of the family. Let's begin with you talking about our your painting you know what this is this is something that i don't know why i started doing it but sometime around october november they give you a painting with numbers in it you're doing the numbers <laughs> i got to show you some of these they're fantastic but what they what you get is a, a canvas with a picture on it and then you get the painting so where the painting for 15 is on the thing you put 15 on there and then they, they come with uh, three sizes of paintbrushes, everything you need. Well, I wound up doing 10 of them, the one child kids. for each child and then four for grandchildren. And I just, oh, by the way, you talk about your, your uh, coat of many colors. <laughs> I just happen to have one of those because you don't go, to go painting in your prep clothes. You wear the, the house of many colors. The apron of many colors. Look I mean, at that. Now that's, this can tell you look? the hours that he has put into this. <laughs> how many hours would you say each painting? Now they vary, but I would say they average about 30 and go as high as 60. Isn't that amazing? Mm -hmm. yeah. So the, the six children got his first six paintings and then he went into great grandchildren and the great grandchildren are adult paint by numbers, which are very difficult. And he was painting with magnifying glasses. That's how bad it is. And and um, I, these are wonderful. You'd never know they were paint by number kits and, and he's going to share them. Yeah, well, I picked, I picked them based upon what I wanted to do and what I thought they would like. I, was, I didn't know whether they would. And you'll see that each and every one of them is different when I show them to you. And uh, well, and the same with the grandchildren. And then we got stuck on one. And on Saturday at the party, we said to the Karen kids, what do you want? And Jackson said, lions. Little six-year-old Jackson. Okay, we found lions and zebras and giraffes all in one painting. So I'm going to start on that. Yeah, though, that's a family of three young children under six. And they're the next for the great grandkids. But what, one in particular, two in particular of the, our children, our oldest son is a retired uh, fire captain with the LA Fire Department. Yeah. And Moose found, he, he's the one that lives up in Idaho. And Moose, he found the most wonderful paint by never kit that took forever to come. But tell them about well, that one. It's, it's the back of a fire truck with the pants and the boot and the ax and a flag. And it's, it's perfect. Helmet. And I came out great and I sent it up to Bill. And it turned out that in his dining living room, living kind of a- It's a memorabilia room, room, really. He's got that whole setup, the same thing, with the boots and the pants. And it looked like I was copying him, but I wasn't. Well, it's it's uh, a, a, from a photograph that I think had been taken in honor of 9-11. Um, and Billy was in New York during 9-11, and this painting is very special for him. And and each one of the paintings that he did for each child, for instance, our son Matthew loves the Leroy Neiman type um, pictures. 
and and those paintings. And one of those is Cassius Clay, and, and it's a famous picture of him. He's got Sonny Liston on the on the canvas, and he's going like this: "Come on, come on, get up! I want to punch you." And if you ever saw that picture, you'd know immediately. Well, Leroy Neiman did it, and I copied it. What we're going to do now is on my iPad, which I have in front of us here, um, I'm going to do the run through of the, I've managed to, to put together all the paintings. And what I'm going to do is have Moose do a voiceover uh, as we run through these. So um, I, I hope this will work. I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to do this. Okay, now Moosey, when I, when you hear a click, and I touch your arm, you start talking, okay? Yeah. Hang on. Oh there, this is this is Bill. And you can see the Monahan his name on that thing. And the same the same layout. And here's here's Debbie. And this is a picture she sent us. And we pack copied the picture. That one's was And this what? is Margie with the crazy chickens which we laughed like hell. That was her Christmas present. And Kalsey is a fan for sunflowers, so she got the sun. And here's the Neiman Marcus with, with Cassius Clay. He was a Mohammed at the time. And here's the first one I ever did. And it was a beach si scene. And I just love this one for the um, three girls that I love so much. Three great grandkids, very spiritual. <laughs> And there's a pig that we finished. I worked on it nine hours the other day. Oh, and she loved it. That was for her. Little, little for Kelly. Kelly. And she was touching it and touching it. Well, he's Wilbur from Charlotte Webb. Yeah. Isn't that Fantastic. cute? Look at the blue eyes. She's touching his nose here. Yeah. Isn't that cute? Yeah. And this one is for the new baby that's only a month old, a Madonna. With child, with Jesus. And, and here is our great grand, granddaughter and grandson, Colin and Brianna, who, who just had this baby a month ago. This is, this is beautiful. Do you see how all of them are so varied? Uh, and finally, Ariel, the, Des the Disney um, cartoon character that's for our little girl down in Temecula. Two of them, Tegan and Two Hayden, them, yeah. great granddaughters. Here we are. That's the mob. The mob, and it was so hard. One of the waiters took this picture at um, the Mexican restaurant, trying to get all of us in. And we go from Patrick with, with little J-Mo all the way over. These are all grandchildren and great-grandchildren mm. and their spouses if they're married and their babies. And it goes all the way over. There's Moosey. And oh, I think Mikey's the only one that got cut out of that. Here's the celebrated graduate, Ryan, who was accepted to eight or nine colleges. And here she is with our daughter, Margie. What a party, so, so fun. Put the rest of these wonderful pictures from the party on a, on a musical strip, just so that you can enjoy them. And here's a picture right here, by the way, of, of grandchildren wanting to all be together. So enjoy, and I hope that you get to enjoy something like this soon too. think about our wonderful night Saturday night with the whole family there well we was we, I was sitting we were sitting at a corner of a table where the whole room was spread out in front of us and my two sons at the table were talking about health care and we have this plan and we have that plan and blah, 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 deductible and all that junk and I was totally not interested in that but I just sat there 
and looked out at these sea of faces and watched everything that was going on. And that's, you know, brought joy to my heart. I know. It, it, it was a very emotional night. One of our granddaughters, Bridget, who is very into, well, they are all into family. Her hug when, when she finally got around to me was about a minute long yeah. and she wouldn't let go. Yeah. And it, it makes me emotional because we have not hugged and been with our mm. family like that in way over a year, like, like all of you like that. Last Christmas before last. Well, yeah. When we were all yeah. together. Yeah. And you all know what we're talking about. And when it happens for you, um, ladies, oh, it's going to be wonderful. And I, I hope it happens soon because it, it brought such joy to our lives. We're still living it. And I have put um, a, a lot of different pictures. I hope you don't get too bored with it all, those of you who don't know us very well. Um, you have been waiting so long for Moosey to show his paintings and uh, he's been having so much fun. So the new one is on its way for Jackson and his brother and sister. But I love to be back with you. I know. And you look so handsome and great in your outfit. Don't you Pink love Crosby, this? you know. <laughs> I call him my Ken doll. I always love dressing him up. I love you when you dress me. <laughs> I'm preppy, aren't I? Very preppy, just okay. like the old days. Oh, I remember when I was preppy in high school thousand boys in a city in New Jersey. Preppy? Very? No. No. Half no, of, no. Half no. Of, oh, no. You have the duck hairdos and half of us had duck, pink shirts. You know, like some, some, yeah, and um, uh, peg pants. Peg know, pants. But, well, I have to tell you, one day we went down to play football in uh, a Lawrenceville prep, which is a prep school for uh, Princeton. And we walked around the campus afterwards, and half of the kids, all the kids, maybe wore uh, white bucks. They were unheard of at our school, except our darling, our much adored quarterback, Bobby Schwartz. He loved them. This was 1955, by the way. 54, 53. He came in with them the next day or two days later, and within five, within a month, 500 kids. At our school, we're in white bucks. And we're preppy, just like now you today. Now we're preppy. Now yes. we're preppy. Oh, well, no? You may go, but kiss first. Hi, ladies. This is a little postscript to this wonderful video of Moosey's paintings and our family get together. I had originally intended to put my hat video. I'm doing a, a hats off, how to rock a hat. And I have a collection of honestly 30, 40, 50 hats. And so as part of this video, I had intended to do my hat collection, showing you all the hats, the summer hats, particularly the straw hats, the different types, explaining what they are, how to wear them, how I wear them, and a little bit of the history of each hat. Really interesting and fun for me. However, it, it ran too long, but it's already done, which means I can put it up on Saturday or Sunday. We'll just leave this video for the Moosey reveal of his paintings. Now, those of you who are new, I hope that perhaps you will get an idea of what Moose and I are all about and, and see some of our family. And maybe you'll get to know us a little better with this video. It's kind of a special video for, for you ladies, all you ladies who know and love Moose. So I'll give you a few little pictures just to give you a peek at what's coming up. I think it will be a fun video. So thank you all for watching this particular video. Moose enjoyed doing it. So did I. And we'll see you in the next All About Hats video. Love you all. Thank you for watching. Panama hats are not made in Panama. They're made in Ecuador. But ever since 1913 and Teddy Roosevelt appearing with his Panama hat, that's what it's been called. <music>